Oh shit. I what? almost fell. <laughs> I almost <laughs> fell out of my chair. <laughs> oh bro. man. If if you ain't never seen a fat person panic before, calm down. You bro. Know. Yeah. Calm down. Ah. I fat saw person. my life flash before my eyes just now. <laughs> that shit was crazy. All right. You're true. Good man. morning. Good morning. Yeah, man. Or is it good afternoon for you? Oh, yeah, because you're living in the future, bruh. Yeah, living in the crazy, future. crazy times. It's insane, yeah. <laughs> Whenever oh, I got to ask Google for the time change because I'm I'm, yeah. I'm done trying to do the math, bro. I just ask Google. <laughs> I just leave yeah. it to Google, man. On my phone, I have to, like, go to that time converter. Mm-hmm. That, mm-hmm. that way, like, I kind of figure out where you're at and then do the time convert thing on the yeah. phone. And then that's how I know, like, the exact time but that's so, so yeah it's too much math i'm like nah shit. screw yeah. that nah yeah, no thank you too much shit. <laughs> can't do it all the time no uh uh-uh. uh it ain't worth it it just ain't worth it like not it's not worth mm-hmm. the headache so i just mm-hmm. say hey google what time is it in guam and he's yeah. like it's, <laughs> it's in the future man <laughs> that's, that's all i can tell you it's 14 like 14 right, hours you. ahead yeah the, the slogan out here is where america's day begins what's up everybody welcome to ccn the cash consumer network here we go over a multitude of topics. If you have any questions, recommendations, or critiques, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Uh, while you're down there, go ahead and like, share, subscribe. I'm one of your hosts, Dark Fox, and we got Jay Boogie in the house, so to speak, coming live from the future. How you doing, Jay Boog? <laughs> yeah. I'm good, I'm good, yeah. Early morning. So today, what we were gonna go into, it's like we mentioned it in the last video, we we're gonna talk about The Last of Us too. And I watched the video today, um, Girlfriend reviews. If if you get a chance, man, look them up. The chick is super dope and and smart. Like uh, apparently her her uh, boyfriend, or I don't know if they're married yet or not, but apparently he has a creative writing degree and he writes the scripts for her to read out. I'm not sure oh, if that's, that's how it goes. Yeah, right. They work together on their their uh their hustle. They hustle together. And I dope. think that's dope as hell. I like that. Yeah. But um these reviews and I really like them because uh, they seem kind of unbiased, you know, if she, and if she is going to be biased, she makes it known. It's like, this isn't one of those videos where I'm in, you know, I'm, you know, <laughs> being, <laughs> I, just, I, I didn't want to interrupt <laughs> or objective. Yeah. This is one of those, those videos where I'm being objective. This is purely, you know, I love this game and, I'm mm. going to tell you, I'm going to gush about it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <laughs> so, That's but uh, I was looking at a video today and they got so much hate on their video. Why? Because they were saying this is a good game. So, and I, I just wanted to, you know, I wanted to preface this with saying that, you know, you know, if, if you get in the comments and you feel like, you know, you know, shitting on this video, um, let me tell you, there are plenty of videos you can watch that are shitting on this game. You can go watch there, <laughs> go watch those videos, yeah. comment that, yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? It, let's keep this, you know, uh, civil because, I mean, I don't see why we can't do that. Keep it civil and we can, you know, debate our likes and dislikes about the game. Uh, if you feel like fucking Mr. Hyde, if you open <laughs> that, that comment bar and start going and you know, you feel like Mr. Hyde, just take that shit somewhere else. Yeah. You know what I mean? We no can be civil. To. We can debate and all that good stuff, but you know, let's let's keep it civil. But anyway, yeah, you gotta two, yeah. two sides. Mm-hmm. Okay, not just one sided. You gotta yeah. be two sides. You gotta allow somebody to give you that feedback so you can mm-hmm. be able to like, you know, say your point because if you're just closed minded and you just wanna put your point across. Yeah. Then there's no point in having a, a discussion. Like yeah. you're gonna always be right. And you're going to yeah. feel always right yeah. without anyone pushing you back yeah and challenging you 100 percent. people don't understand that shit though no uh-uh they just want to be validated they go mm-hmm. <laughs> bill burr made a, a joke about this you say you just go to i'm right.com and then just start sucking in all this information and then throwing <laughs> it up at people you know what i'm saying That's, yeah it's, that ain't that ain't you know what i mean that ain't the way nope. yeah no uh-uh you, i mean i I'm not against people going to get their views and stuff validated, but don't be, you know, shut off from other ideas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't don't shut yourself yep. off. They just it, it limits it just, your, your st- yeah exactly. It's just not it's just not bad a good deal. simple. Yeah. yeah, 
And so for the people that hated this game, I made it like three, uh, and I wanted to go in uh, ascending order. I made three points where I think people just shut off, you know, for the people that mm. played the game, I think that they, you know, it, the, for the ones that played it and hated it, I think what they did was they got to the point, it's like, I hate this game and finished it just to be like, oh, I finished the game. So, <laughs> um, you know, I here's my- It's done. Yeah, exactly. Here's my objective view of it when they made yeah. their choice, when that whatever, you know, point they were at the game and they hated it, they kept that view of it and then just finished the game and was like, oh, this is, I, I finished the game and I hated it. This, you know, this, that, and the third, this is why. But Perfect. this is a, the three reasons and I want to go into sin and order. Is now, tough. the number three reason I think people hated this game is how it led up to Joel. Uh, and spoilers ahead. If you don't want to be spoiled on the game, go to another video. But yes, uh, whenever uh, Joel, you know, died, you know everything leading up to it a series of, of coincidences you know they found you know uh jackson they found the 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 wolves the fob, yeah the yeah that little team of wolves they found jackson they found uh joel's footprints and then found joel and then joel trusted them and went back to their hold up you know what i'm saying and uh, people you know describe those as plot holes <clears throat> To me, it was the story asking you, hey, you know, here are these coincidences. We were, you know, asking you to be okay with those because there's something way better on the other end of this. At the, you know what I'm saying? It's part of the story. So, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's the thing that I found out mm -hmm. that the um, game developer mm -hmm. put it out there from the beginning. Yeah. The fans of the first one mm -hmm. is going to hate the second one. Yeah. Yeah. But if mm -hmm. you didn't play the second the first one mm -hmm. you're gonna love the second one yeah and yeah. i think this was an awesome game yeah. just for the simple fact that they killed one of the uh main characters yeah and made you feel conflicted like you yeah. may I, I never played the first one so I did. for me and i still like, love it see okay so yeah mm -hmm. you're one of the few because they took that creative risk and yeah. they did something that wasn't normal and people right. don't like change oh boy but i mean <laughs> Like, I really think yeah. this was a great change. Like, this yeah. opens up the door. Well, it would have opened up the door for a mm -hmm. lot of other creative ideas down the road for people to try. But people are yep. just way too sensitive about this shit. Oh, like, man. stop. Like, they, they need to stop making it where um, the hero always comes on top. Like, I'm tired of that, that scenario where yeah. you kind yeah. of know mm -hmm. at the end something's going to happen. Like, yeah. oh, he's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, he got his fucking face bashed in, but somehow he's <laughs> going to be in the hospital and he's going to be walking just partially paralyzed, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. No, fuck that. It was cool that they killed one of the main characters. Yeah. Like, and they if gave they would this dilemma. Yeah. Go ahead, go if ahead. If they would have pulled a Tommy at, like, uh, when uh, Abby shot him in the face and you're like, oh, well, Tommy's dead too. And then come to find out, you know, he made it through, you know? Yeah, and, that and, shit, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like how you survive a shot to the face yeah and just like lose if he your survived eye. jesse should have got up and you know would have been all right but not nah, jesse was gone bro yeah <laughs> oh yo she got some quick ass hands and a you quick know. ass trigger finger yeah bam, bam. <laughs> yep. he ran through and was done it was done yeah and you know i like jesse jesse was funny he was witty you know mm -hmm. and uh open-minded yeah he was a cool what dude was going on because i mean yeah. like how many people was like just break up with a girl and then a, a friend of theirs is like you know just boom just hooks up with him i don't know if uh ellie and him were friends but they seemed like they were cool you know what i'm saying yeah i think they he were was like, man we chilling we cool man don't worry about yeah. it you know yeah <laughs> and he, was, he was good about it he was a good guy and he you know mm -hmm. got taken out that's that is the name of the game in this yeah, post-apocalyptic type time frame you know what i'm saying that's, and i that's like that happens. I like Me the too. fact that they did that because mm -hmm. it was just like this is this is kind of real like yeah. this kind of situation would happen mm -hmm. yeah. eventually somebody that you care for mm -hmm. in a situation like that would die yep. how would you feel yep and you know they carried the plot from I thought it was a beautiful game first yeah. of all oh man yeah and then the gameplay mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie the mm -hmm. runners like just I didn't I don't have a PS4 just yeah. so everyone knows yeah um 
And I just watched this while mm-hmm. I was watching the di- washing gaming. dishes and yep. yeah, backseat That's what, gaming. We both did that with this one. I played the the first one, but I backseat gamed the uh, the second one. You okay. know what I'm saying? But yeah. go ahead. Yeah, so yeah. that's good. Mm-hmm. And watching just the runners come after Ellie and Abby, mm-hmm. like those times was just like a panic for me. Like it was yeah. adrenaline running, and I was just <laughs> like, oh shit, you yeah. know. And the gameplay is like you got it. You can either go sneaky or you mm-hmm. can go loud, and yep. they react to it differently. And mm-hmm. I know, like, if you go on survival difficulty, mm-hmm. like it's so much more realistic mm-hmm. and hard yeah. for anyone to really do. And I just okay, so that's just me just mm-hmm. praising the gameplay. Mm-hmm. Everyone that played the first one that I saw said like it's the same mechanics. It's basically pretty yeah. much the same thing. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they were not like too too fond of it. They want change. They want to change for that, but not the storyline kind of thing. But I just thought it was good that mm-hmm. they kept it the same. Yeah. And it was yeah. just an awesome game to see that they mm-hmm. they made it more realistic. You know, yeah. playing on yeah. your sound mm-hmm. sight, yeah. and just thinking like how you're gonna handle this situation with all yep. these things happen. Yep, hundred percent. So mm-hmm. that's my take on the gameplay. The game looked gorgeous i love the seamless transitions between the cinematic parts yeah. and then the gameplay like yeah. that i thought that was awesome like yeah. you don't find a lot of games like no. that dude they, they took a page out of god of wars book with that yeah it's like just yeah. freaking going straight into a, a gameplay and then coming coming straight out of into a cutscene. you know what yeah. i mean just seamless transitions man it was it was oh, freaking man. gorgeous I, and that's one of it the reasons was. i loved god of war that was one of the reasons but it uh, doesn't take you out of the game no nope. it just keeps you in there yeah and that's what I, I i enjoyed like the whole thing just felt like a big cinematic trailer for me a 10 yep. hour yeah cinematic trailer mm-hmm. yeah. and it was just gorgeous it was yeah. like man i really enjoyed this and then yeah. at the end mm-hmm. where ellie ellie got her ass whooped twice oh yeah like abby gave her the business bro like yeah. in the theater Oh, Abby gave her the business, dog. I was yeah. like, oh, damn, <laughs> she can't work. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> like but, the uh, first time mm-hmm. when Joe died, yeah. Then the theater getting her ass whooped, mm-hmm. and then finally, like, to hold that vendetta for so long and then go after her again, mm-hmm. and she's like, "Nah, fuck that. We're gonna fight. We gotta fight." And then, yeah. I mean, still, Abby, Abby held her ground with the knife. Yeah, it was still being that ass. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good segue into the second reason i think people really hated this game <clears throat> and playing as abby that's number two i think playing as abby after she killed joel i think people were really put off by that like at, mm-hmm. at that moment either the joel moment or the playing as abby moment that was mm-hmm. when they made their decision already and just played through the game i watched so many playthroughs of people that got to at the end where ellie and abby were fighting and was like oh let's kill this bitch let's uh, why, don't, why are you stopping kill her i was like dog <laughs> what's happening right now it's like, i you saw that. that yeah well i mean me personally i was like i saw abby all you know hemmed up like that and i was like god dang dude i don't i don't even want to I, I just want to let this woman go off and and find the the fireflies I cut yeah, her right. down and just sent her on her way because, you know, this environment has beat her down way more than I could have done. It's tortured her. And what's really funny is at the theater, Ellie was ready to let her go. Ellie was like, yeah, well, I got it. Yeah. And, and Tommy was too. Tommy was the, the one that mentioned it. He was like, you, you know, you think it's OK? She's like, it has to be. And then what's, you know, they get back and then all of a sudden Tommy's the one that's all gung ho about taking this woman out. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you know, I, I think it was a, a decent story. You know, I, I would even go as far as I think it was a good story. I love the story, I, actually. It's a good story. Yeah. And I think, um, so this is where we where I disagree. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, let me just clarify. You you, mm-hmm. you wouldn't want them to fight at the end, or would you? Um, you would just take her down and let her go, right? Um, I think it played out perfectly, actually. I, I like the... Okay, uh, good. I like the the way that they went with it. I wouldn't have, but like if I was in that uh, situation myself personally, I probably would have been like, nah, man, I, I can't do this, you know, and let them go. But I'm glad that they said, 
fuck you we we're doing this yeah you know what i'm saying nah, bro and it really made it way well man it made it way better in my opinion abby would have to take that l you know she ain't getting away without taking that l man right on yeah. <laughs> so yeah. they played it out perfectly i would mm-hmm. fucking get i would have done exactly like that yeah and i would have just where she was about to die just mm-hmm. like how she just brought her back up yeah it's like yeah bitch i could have killed you too now we're even yeah get the fuck out of here yeah i won you exactly know, it, yes <laughs> this this might lead to where you know there's the last of us part three mm-hmm they're already talking because, about it's already in the works apparently they, they were waiting to really? see how this did yeah uh with the four million copies sold that is the last number that i had i've been trying to keep up with it i can't find any up-to-date numbers but the last numbers that i found it was four million copies sold um i want to say it, it beat out all of their underdog or uh all of their naughty dog titles like as wow. far as opening goes the opening was the the most that, that naughty dog has ever seen so they the depending on those numbers i think they'll they'll start with a, a three i think they already Damn. said it's already in the works and then they already have a a, a netflix show coming out so, oh word. Uh, gonna, yeah yeah they they, they really they milking the shit out of this and i'm i'm glad they are man it's a good story yeah. really good writers it over there naughty dog man i gotta give them yeah. credit credit to where credit is due the f- number one thing that i think people hated was the fact that joel died everybody was was jarred by that you know what i mean <clears throat> you won't find a person that uh knew about the last of us and didn't like joel joel's arc was yeah. incredible incredible you know the, the the and this is what i say man the writers are crazy good you know you take a man who lost his daughter early on and then is like real salty he he's not you know opening up to anyone and then over this this time period he becomes close to this girl and wants to save her and sees her as kind of a surrogate daughter, you know, and mm-hmm. wants to save her life. And I thought the the arc with that one was really incredible. Um, <clears throat> the acting was phenomenal. And that mm-hmm. that went on into The Last of Us 2. Not only were the graphics out of this world great, the acting was just insane. And the music anybody mm. who hates this game dog you're not really you're not really gonna yeah. have a chance you saw joel no, die and you were like i'm done because yeah yeah i was gonna say like you saw people that played all the way to the end and was just like yeah killer mm-hmm. i saw people that when they reached the goal to joel dying mm-hmm. they were like oh this game is fucking trash oh my god i can't believe they did that yep. man fuck this game yep. oh fuck what, what was the writers thinking and all this and that it's like no man take give it a chance yes. like the, the the game developers <laughs> said give it a chance mm-hmm. be open-minded yep. we're trying to push people's limits yeah it's going to be something different mm-hmm. you know all these things giving you guys all these chances to get prepared yeah. for this yeah and you're just going to shut down after that happened man yeah. come on yeah you guys can't do that shit yeah but it in what really threw like okay so whenever the leaks you heard about the leaks and things like that yeah i was hearing about that they said it was a disgruntled employee and then some people backtracked on that but i'm just gonna go with the disgruntled employee uh rumor that you know this guy the the crunch and all that i heard is like super bad especially naughty dog they're real bad about crunch but uh you know he was sick and tired of it and he leaked all the 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 story and then like uh you know like hours of video gameplay and and cut scenes and things like that out onto the internet and just boom and so when i heard about that and i heard about the you know kind of shoehorning in you know certain things and i was like make yeah. a good story just make a good story you know nobody's concerned with you you know putting this stuff in there just to you know kind of suck your own dick nobody's considered about that <laughs> nobody cares yeah. just make a good story you know what i'm saying yeah and then it. i'm i'm happy to report that this motherfucker did it he did it i heard all the bad and then my curiosity got the best of me but i didn't want to spend my money on a game that i was going to inevitably hate and want to return mm-hmm. and uh so i i backseat gamed it and i was like man yeah. what is everybody talking about this game is dope this game is dope yeah it's like just because you can't get past Joel dying or, you know, the coincidence that, you know, Abby found Joel or, you know, you know, talking about Abby, Abby again, mm-hmm. 
just her character design people yeah. just hated on and then you we we found or you found the mm-hmm. actual person that mm-hmm. the character was modeled you know behind and then it just made me think like damn you guys are body shaming somebody that's for real yeah yeah and it's a crossfit champ right yeah. or a crossfit oh uh, she is a competitor professional yeah competitor yep that yeah. shit is bad man like yeah that's what i'm saying <laughs> it's so bad that they they're doing all this shit and then you were saying that um they were even threatening debt giving death threats to ellie's voice character no it was abby's voice actor they Abby, were sending death threats and shit too it's God, like dog damn. how how misguided are you you know what i'm saying like the gaming community is fucking crazy man <laughs> like <laughs> I don't understand that shit. It, They're all too soft. You, yeah, they soft is the best word for it. Like, don't get me wrong. There's some stuff that I'm passionate about. You know, if they came in and like totally revamp Jack and Daxter, you know, making like, I don't know, making Daxter the lead and Jack the side yeah. character or whatever. I, I feel some kind of way about that. Don't get me wrong. But I wouldn't be like, you know, this yeah, is garbage. This you. is trash. These writers, what are they doing? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Because make no mistake, you know, even though I don't make the linguini, doesn't mean that I can't say that the linguini sucks. <laughs> but by the same token, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I am i don't make the linguini, my nigga. So yeah. it's not like I can be like, <laughs> this is, you know, so to these yeah. writers and to these, these uh, voice actors and to these people who created this game, you know, I, I can, my opinion only goes so far because I'm not an actor. I'm not a director. I'm not a writer. You know, doesn't mean I can't recognize when Some I see bad writing, though. you know, but at the same time, you know, in my opinion, I don't think they did a bad job with this one. I don't, I, it, I don't, I just I don't think, think they so. They did a fabulous mm-hmm. job yeah. taking that chance of yep. doing something different. Oh, I yeah. Mean, hats, hats off to them. Yep. To everybody that put in that work mm-hmm. to make this game. Like, mm-hmm. I, I wasn't trying to okay so one thing i do want to say though mm-hmm. just for everyone so they don't try and death threat me um <laughs> i'm all about opinions too man like mm-hmm. if you if you got something wrong with if you feel something's wrong with something voice it right yeah yeah but just don't go out there sending emails and messages that you're gonna kill someone over yeah. some shit, man that's way right. too that's where i just kind of uh yeah. that's where i disconnect from all that shit because yeah we are obviously the ones that push this industry because we buy the games Mm -hmm. and we review it and we tell people to oh you know go ahead and you know i recommend playing this game to all your friends and shit right yeah yeah so the gaming community has a lot of power yeah we can voice our opinions about what we thought was bad Mm -hmm. but just don't take it that far man it's a fucking game people put in their time and effort to try Mm -hmm. and give you something and push creative minds to a point where you know you can be open-minded to accept all this creative shit you know don't yeah. don't bash people on taking chances on shit yeah but, yeah and threaten them man like yeah. that's the thing that yeah 100%. i don't understand yeah yeah if yeah, fucking man. that's a it's so dumb to me why mm-hmm. threaten you know like yeah have a very harsh criticism towards it but there don't it is. threaten yeah. somebody's life Yep. for voicing a fucking character yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> you know what i'm saying she didn't even write the shit she didn't write it yeah she didn't make the make abby's you know <laughs> whatever render her 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 looks or nothing like that you know what i'm saying she just voiced the person she had nothing to do with any of that other stuff she just she's this a voice is- actor but you you <laughs> you're taking out your frustration on her give me a break dog and that's yeah. the but, and like you were saying it i just want to add on to it like <clears throat> having an opinion if you think the game is shitty just say the game is shitty bro don't, yeah. don't don't take it that extra mile then you, you moving into you know some like, psychopath shit, exactly man. like you know what i'm saying fucking... then nobody can take you seriously you know what i'm yeah. saying if you're like oh if you you know uh you know you should die and i'm like okay now i can't take your opinion seriously because you're far outside of the the normal the normal thinking human being you know what i'm saying (laughs) all right man well that that's the end of it right now we had some (laughs) uh not technical difficulties but you know we're both husbands we're both dads and uh 
you know. <laughs> yeah, my little munchkin yep. is not stopping. Yeah. So we got to cut it short. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, man. Jay Boog, I'll talk to you later. And uh, everybody, you guys be be courteous to each other. Hot yeah, damn. man. <laughs> That's the point of this mm-hmm. this this whole thing don't be all fucking crazy and psychotic just Mm -hmm. because you don't like something man just what's your opinion have others that see your view and do it in a way that you don't threaten somebody's life because that shit is just dumb yeah don't don't do that yeah 100 Mm -hmm. all right people peace peace